Hello, people. Um, this is Pedro, and I'm about to make a random video about context. So, we've heard a lot about free speech uh, these days, and people um, wanting to express free speech and what it means to them. And I figured I would just uh, make this little video. I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while, but I just kind of chose not to because I didn't want to get into any discussions at the time. I, I kind of wait until I feel ready to have whatever feedback before I go ahead and say whatever it is I'm gonna say. So today, I'm gonna talk about free speech, uh, context and content. And some of this, um, these thoughts co um, come from a, one of my good friends, Marshall Thurber, who uh, went to one of his classes a long time ago and he talked about the difference between uh, content and context. And a lot of times, when we get into these conversations with people, we focus on the content, which is what the people say. So they said this word, and they said that word, and we get into our little discussions and debates about it. Um, and we confuse uh, content and context sometimes. So content is, as I said, the information that uh, is in a certain context. And a good example um, for free speech is a lot of times when people talk about the rights of free speech, in the United States, free speech is a big deal. But uh, most people know that if you were in a crowded theater and you yelled out fire, and then you tried to say it was free speech, that wouldn't fly in court. Because they would say, hey, hold on, you made this false statement in this context, and it caused uh, trouble and problems and things like that. So you would, that would not count as uh, your right to free speech. Now, obviously, if you were outside and you saw a fire and you screamed fire, in that context, then it's the right thing to say at the time. No one's going to dispute that and you can uh, cause uh, some b beneficial uh, response by calling fire when there is a fire. Calling fire when there's not a fire can cause harm. So I'm not here today to make a bunch of interpretations. I'm not trying to uh, sway any people one way or the other. I'm just putting information out there. You can use it the way you want to use it. So for today, uh, the reason why I'm making this video today is because I have some bananas and it doesn't seem like that makes sense, but let me tell you, I got some bananas and they're almost on that edge of not being useful. So I decided I'm going to use a smoothie or make a smoothie. And so I'm going to use a smoothie as analogy for content and context and things like that. So here you go. Here's a bowl of fruit, some mangoes, some blueberries, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really matter. The fruit in here is the content. The bowl is the context. So when this fruit is in this context, you can see and distinguish the different fruit that's in here because of the context. It's a container, it's holding it. You see the fruit, you see the mangoes, some cherries and strawberries in here. Now, if I change the context, the whole content changes as well. And that's something that we don't understand. What's happening in our society right now and all the arguments we're having, a lot of it is just a bunch of content flying around, flying around, and people are not paying that much attention to the context. This is an invitation to pay attention to context because if you take this exact same fruit, the content, and you put it in a whole different context, which is the blender, it changes the whole conversation. So I'm gonna take this content right now Remember, this is an analogy and it's about to be delicious, but I'm gonna take this content, which is what we say for the metaphor's sake, what we say, what we talk about, the information we put out there. Here's the content, changing the context. All right, so I took all my content, I changed the context now. Context now. now, you know what's gonna happen, but just in case you don't know how a blender works, you can take all the content and it doesn't change the fundamental nature of what's in it, right? There's still gonna be strawberries, there's still gonna be cherries, blueberries, mango, and now these bananas, they got this whole process started because I didn't want them to go bad. I'm gonna throw them in there. Bloop. This is also like a cooking show. If you've never made a smoothie, it's as easy as taking some fruit and throwing it in a blender with some liquid. But anyway, if you're just popping on now, this is about the difference between content and context and how when you change the context, the content changes. And the fruit represents the content or the words, information we talk about. And the clear bowl that it was originally in 
was the original context and I've changed the context now to a blender, which is gonna change everything. If you uh, get that metaphor, throw a thumbs up and if you don't get it, uh, I'm sorry and you might as well not be on this video because you won't get anything else that I say. No offense. So now I'm taking my bananas and throwing it in there. And now just to take the analogy a little bit further, if I took this in here and I tried to blend it without any liquid, that would make the content and the context and the, the, the function of the, uh, of the metaphor of conversation be a little different. So I'm gonna throw some unsweetened almond milk in here, which is also adding to the context, which is, it can be a situation where you add different people into a conversation or different uh, things that change the makeup. That all changes the content I mean the context, which then changes the content. So I'm adding all my little other uh, content and context changers into the conversation. A good example would be if you're having a certain conversation with your wife or your husband or your partner or whatever, and you can have that conversation, but then someone else can come in and it changes how you converse because they have now changed the nature of the context. Throwing a little yogurt in here. Yada, yada, yada. But all of these elements change the content and the relationship and function of the context. Hopefully you're, this is making some sense to you. After I blend this thing into deliciousness, we'll talk a little bit more if you want to or if you have any questions or thoughts or comments. So now I've changed it. I remember, I took the context, which is the bowl, and the contents, put them in a whole different context. And then it's about to get loud up in here. But you know what happened. I guess you gotta hold it longer. Now that's changed everything. Now somebody can ask you what's the content and I can tell you it was the same content that was in the bowl before. It's blueberries, it's strawberries, it's cherries, it's mangoes. And now in this context, it's all mixed up together and it's completely different constitution, a completely different flavor, a completely different everything. Now you can run with this analogy as far as you want to, but I just want to share this with you guys to think about the uh, content and context of our country and the conversations we're having and the information that we're putting out there and realizing that if somebody can say one thing or act one way or be one way in a certain context and that's okay and it can even maintain its uh, distinguishedness like the mangoes were in the same bowl as the uh, as the cherries and the strawberries and everything in that other context but once it got into the other context and they all got blended together, it made something greater and better and delicious, I imagine, hopefully. Yep, it's pretty good. But it changed everything. So I could get more into this, but I just want you to use your brains. I want you to think about it. I want you to think about the difference between context and how content shows up in certain contexts when you get in different conversations. Because we're about to be in one massive national argument is going to be going on for a long time and a lot of people are going to say a lot of things and they're going to feel really convinced about what they're saying and what they're saying may be right in a certain context but in another context is not right or it may be appropriate in a certain context and in another context it won't be appropriate and not knowing the difference between context and how context affects how content is interpreted and experienced it's a disservice to yourself and it's a disservice to your community because ultimately we are all here. We are all in this larger context together. And until we figure out that we're in this larger context together and we don't and we miss this, we're going to keep on uh, having conversations that go nowhere. So this invitation, it was a little choppy, but hopefully the blender analogy and the bowl analogy was enough 
to click with you to help you to understand where it is that I'm coming from and invite you to be more conscious of the context that you find yourself in. And again, today I deliberately did not point to anyone or anything in particular because I think this is a universal awareness that can help anyone in any situation. You don't talk to your kids the same way you talk to your mom. You don't talk to your parents the same way you talk to your boss. You don't, do, because of context. So be mindful of the context when you start putting out your content. And if it doesn't come back the way that you thought it should, if you don't get the feedback you thought you should, pay attention to yourself. Look at yourself and see, am I paying attention to the context? Do I care about the context? Can I learn from other people who have experience in that context? Yes, you can, but not until you realize that we're all in this together. So just putting that out here wasn't my smoothest video, um, but the intent was there. And I hope the intent uh, connects with your hearts and with your minds and informs you and helps you to have better conversations with people across difference, across challenges uh, until we get to that place where we can really do some positive work together because there's room enough for all. There's space enough for all. There is enough for all, except for we don't realize the context. So that's it for now, unless somebody has some comments and I don't see the chat thing, so probably don't. But anyway, put it out here. If it does anything for you, share it. Um, and if you have any ideas of what um, I could talk about or should talk about that would help you have conversations across difference, let me know. I mean, I'm, I'm staying in this conversation because I've been in tough conversations with people from all walks of life, all different backgrounds. And... Yep. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> yep. I am mindful of the context and the smoothie is delicious. I'm about to drink it for dinner. But anyway, thanks, Paula. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of others and put in the work because if you don't put in the work, why complain? Peace.